Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here, and today we're gonna look at Pentax Astro Tracer and how to set it up. So this is useful for anyone who has a recent Pentax DSLR along with a GPS and inclinometer and compass module because the Pentax cameras, when they are equipped like that, or if they have those sensors internally, like this uh, camera does, my K1, Pentax K1 full frame camera has this feature, it can, instead of needing a separate star tracker to basically track stars as they move with the rotation of the Earth from our perspective. Um, it can actually move the sensor within the camera using the uh, in-body stabilization to track the stars for us. And it will do that because it knows where is north, where you are located on the Earth, and at what point of the sky you are pointing because that uh, movement of the star when you're doing it with a sensor within the camera it needs to know all of those parameters and so this video is really about how to set that up in Pentax so it's very useful for Pentax camera owners or if you are considering a Pentax camera just for something like Astro Tracer you first need to turn on your Pentax camera by obviously setting the set the dial to on and the next step is to actually turn on the GPS unit. Now if your camera like mine here, the K1, and it's also the case for the K12 and for the K32 um, has an integrated GPS, you have it directly here and you can just just click on the button otherwise you have to install a GPS module inside the hot shoe and you'll have to turn on the GPS here once I click on this I press it we get a red sign that the GPS has been turned on and it's looking for satellites once satellites have been found it will turn first yellow and then green to say that satellites and here it is green so satellites have been found and my location is now known now something important to understand is that uh, the Astro Tracer in Pentax will only work using the bulb mode. So I am setting my exposure to bulb. And here we have two modes actually that can be accessed using the green button from Pentax uh, between normal bulb or actually using a set amount of time that you can set with the front uh, dial per intervals of uh, 10 seconds. Now uh, you can also of course as usual set your ISO for the K1 uh, or the K12 camera. Well actually for the K1 camera I recommend it at ISO 800 because that's where you get a get great compromise of read noise of the sensor versus dynamic range of the sensor. Now, before you can actually use Astro Tracer, you will need to calibrate the camera. And to calibrate the camera, and you need to also turn it on. You want to go to the third menu here, and under Astro Tracer, well, if it was off, you turn it to on, and then you can go inside Precise Calibration. And precise calibration, you actually need to have the camera detached from the tripod. To perform the calibration of Astro Tracer, you want to make sure that you're far away from any metallic objects. Uh, so if you're in the great outdoors, uh, you typically want to walk a couple of meters away from your tripod to make sure that there is nothing that is really interfering with uh, the uh, calibration, the sensors that you have in the camera, GPS, inclinometer, and compass. Um, I'm in the menu right now, and I will be selecting the uh, precise calibration and this gives me an image saying that I need to rotate the camera 360 degrees around each of its rotation axes. So I'll do that. First things first, I want to make sure that I have secured the camera uh, to my arm or to somewhere so that even I, if I drop the camera, which could totally happen, <laughs> I will not damage it. And now I can just go basically 360 degrees on each of the axes with fairly determined and fast movements, works very well. I typically need to end up like this. And now we have the precise calibration is complete. And I just need to validate uh, this item. And here we are, we have calibrated the camera. So it now knows uh, which way is north, it knows its precise location on Earth, and it knows whenever you're pointing it at any point in the sky, how, what angle you're pointing it at and the relative angle to the north uh, direction. And with that, it can track the stars very precisely. And now we are ready to image. So I can just point my telescope at a target in the sky, 
not my telescope, my camera at a target in the sky, set my, uh, my parameters. So here I've set my ISO to 800, my exposure time to 30 seconds. With this lens, typically okay, I could not hope for more than like four seconds without significant star trailing. And uh, I've put my focal ratio to 3.2, even though this is an f1.4 lens, it has a lot of chromatic aberration and I want to avoid that on stars. So I can just point the camera somewhere, like fairly, uh, fairly randomly. Having a tilt screen is then super useful because I can actually see what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. And if I go into live view, I'll be able to actually focus on stars if there are any stars in the sky. I'll need to turn off the light to be able to do so because obviously it is uh, lessening the contrast on my image. Obviously there are a lot of clouds today so it's not going to be easy. I'm not even sure whether we even have stars in there. So I'm just going to use the clouds to focus right now. This is not the right way to do things. Uh, I made sure, by the way, to be in uh, manual focus. And now we're going to just try getting an exposure. I am actually going to reduce my exposure time to maybe 10 seconds because otherwise I am pretty sure that we're going to be overexposing this by quite a lot. You can also see you have the incl inclinometer uh, bars that are red there. It's basically just telling you that it knows where it is pointing in the sky. Let's try a 10 seconds exposure. I've made sure to have a delay of two seconds on my exposure so that my hand uh, on the trigger did not basically make this uh, move too much. And we've done our exposure. We can have a look at how it looks like. And we actually do see some stars here. They're out of focus, but they have not trailed. And of course, as soon as I had finished that first exposure, it started to rain suddenly. It was to be supposed to be a clear night. So I had to immediately cancel everything, but we got through the gist of how to use Astro Tracer. Um, and of course, in the end, if you want to take like multiple exposures, which you will want to do for a better signal to noise ratio, because you can then stack them, you'll want to use an intervalometer with the camera, because that is the one of the drawbacks of Astro Tracer. Um, the internal intervalometer function of the Pentax cameras is not available for Astro Tracer, which I think is a huge oversight from Pentax. But anyway, uh, there is a simple workaround to that. So I hope this video was useful. I know this is a video that I made about like a specific piece of equipment that may not be traditionally associated with like in-depth, very serious astrophotography. But I think it's something that has a lot of potential. I want to keep delving into it. So even if you do not own a Pentax camera, I, I hope this was useful to see how you know the camera needs to be set up to actually perform this uh, tracking of stars without needing an external strap tracker and um, with that as always thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed to this channel be aware this channel is about astrophotography and astronomy in general it can get very technical videos very uh, in-depth gear reviews very in-depth tips, tips and tricks for better imaging typically with telescopes and uh, with uh, equatorial tracking mounts although going forward I will also have more like DSLR simple uh, equipment oriented videos as well for people who are interested in that. Um, if you liked this video, if you think it is useful, feel free to go down below, click on that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And as always, you know, feel free to click that like button. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, ideas, feedback. It's always most welcome. And again, thank you so much for watching. Remember, whenever you can, to look up at the stars. And I'll see you next time.